Um, Clarence Mwami, the director for Pestalozzi World Zambia, joined Pestalozzi in 2015. Yeah, really, for me, the motivation in this job is um, the kind of the kind of impact uh, Pestalozzi has on the life of these children. Because I look at the first day when the child gets into the village, you see them crying, wanting to go back. Then they are transformed into young adults. They get into university. They go abroad. They come back, get back to their community. And um, everybody is looking up to them. So for me, it's the huge transformation that uh, motivates me. Because I know that when the children go back, they are ambassadors for Pestalozzi and with our ethos and everything, they become useful members of their community. For me, what makes uh, the Pestalozzi children to be exceptional, I think is the emphasis that we have on uh, our ethos. Because with our children, it's not just about education. Maybe I can say it's education for life, you know because uh, of all these dimensions that we emphasize on, our children uh, tend to be different from every other child out there. Then also at the school, we have the best facilities. I think the school that the children go to is one of the top 10 schools in Lusaka. Uh, and this is a school owned by the trust. So the children go there, the teachers are employed to, by the trust. This is also to ensure that we are able to influence the quality of education that the children uh, get because the teachers are also part of us and these are teachers that have been with the organization for some time. They are passionate about the work they do. They have seen a lot of our children go through their hands. So one of our values also is uh, the heart, you know. Under the heart we encourage our children, we teach them to have empathy, love, and also just to care for one another. So you see that when children leave Pestalozzi, they would have been all rounded because uh, our approach to education is uh, holistic. Then we also emphasize on the aspect of social work. Uh, this is a way of ensuring that our children learn to give back to society. So our children are involved in social work. At the moment, we have uh, two sites. The first site is the Kadikliki reading program. Our children go there every Saturday to teach members of the community, the children that are in government schools, others are in community schools, they teach them how to read. Then we've also got another site at um, Cheshire Homes. Cheshire Homes is an, a Catholic institution that looks after the disabled. So our children go there every Saturday to help out uh, with that. So all this is to teach the children that they've to, they, they should be able to give back to society what they've gained. And uh, this is all in the spirit of uh, uh, humanity. Uh, we have a number of uh, skills under our skills program because, you know, uh, uh, we have in line with the head, heart and hands ethos. So to complement the hands, I think we've a number of uh, skills. So currently the skills that are running, we have baking, we have handcrafts. We also have a very exciting program of the Jaff Garden. Uh, in this garden, the children practice organic farming. And we've just started another project, which is uh, quite exciting for us. We now have a pottery uh, farm where we've started with about 500 beds and uh, the children are actively involved in this program. So the idea is that by the time the children leave Pestalozzi, they would have acquired all these skills that can help them even uh, when they are out there. Because we believe that uh, it's not just about the head, it's not just about the heart. Those that may not make it academically because we are also promoting entrepreneurship and we are coming from a background where entrepreneurship was considered to be for those that have not been to school. But I must state that uh, now even
the government as a matter of policy is talking about entrepreneurship. So this means that our children are more equipped and better equipped when they leave Pestalozzi. So for me, the future is bright. I know there are a lot of challenges, but um, within all the challenges, there are opportunities. So in terms of um, secondary education, I think we've achieved a lot, but now we are getting into another dimension where we want to increase opportunities for our children that are completing. And um, with this, we've embarked on to a leadership program, and the objectives of this program is to create more opportunities for children uh, beyond uh, grade 12.